everyone and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be my November TBRs and as per usual I feel like my list is entirely too long but we're gonna try anyways. So we are a few days into November now so I have started a book and it is A Sorrow Fierce and Falling. This is uh, the third and final book of the series and um, yeah I think I did pre-order this. Yes because I really liked this story and um, yeah the first one was a shadow bright and burning and then a poison dark and dreading was the second one and yeah I don't know if I should explain it or not because it's the third one but basically it's like historical fiction with fantasy mixed in and I really enjoy it that's probably my favorite genre is when historical fiction meets fantasy because those are my two favorite genres to begin with. But yeah, so far I am really enjoying it. I'm curious how it is going to wrap up because there's just a lot of twists and turns and things. And then there are things that like I want to happen, but I don't know if it's gonna happen. And yeah, it's a thing. But um, yeah, have started that. Might be done with it by the time this video goes up. Uh, the next one is a book that the author sent me and I'm really excited to read it. It is called Everything All at Once. Um, and when she sent this to me, um, when she asked me if I would like a copy to review, I was just like, um, obviously. So this is the first book in a series. I'll read the back to you. It says, nearly 16, Keila Lawrence obsesses over music quarters and the bitter absence of her first kiss. Nearly 17, Ethan Lawrence, Keila's older brother, is the drummer of an indie band with some secret plans. Mixing their friends together induces irreversible crushes, late night courtship, and stinging heartaches. With a rousing 67 song playlist, in bed, in bed, I can't read, you in every intense and awkward moment. You'll experience the rush of everything all at once, the first book in the Corduroys and Too Many Boys series. So that was one thing that really interests me is that there's actually a playlist on Spotify that goes along with this book. So I'm definitely excited to experience that because I've never read a book that did that before and I think it's a really good idea. So um, yeah, really excited to get into this one and I really like the cover. So unfortunately I did not read this one that I meant to read last month so it's been pushed. Um, and it is Clockwork Princess. It is book three of the Infernal Devices series. And I don't know what it is about this series. I just realized there's like a huge something on there, like where a sticker used to be. It's kind of weird. But um, anyways, I don't know what it is about this series that um, I can't seem to read two books of it in the same month. Like every month I've pushed a book back. Um, I don't know what it is because um, I really like this series but it takes me a while to get through these books and they're not even that big. I don't know why but um, yeah this is the third and final book in the series and then after this one I'm going to be starting hopefully if I can get to it this book is even bigger. Lady Midnight which is the um, dark artifice, artifice, the, whatever that word is. My brain's not working this morning. So instead of filming late at night, I'm filming early in the morning this time. It's not any better, apparently. Um, yeah, this is book one in this series, and it is kind of gigantic. Like, how many pages are you? I don't even know. It's over 600 pages. Um, and there is going to be a new book in December in this series. So I'm hoping to read this one this month and then read the second one next month in time for the new book. I have no idea if that's actually going to happen. To be honest, I have no idea what this is even about. But it's Cassandra Clare, so I wanted to read it. I have a few other books that are beginnings of series where um, the next book is going to be coming out soon so I want to read the first one and a lot of these I don't even really know what they are about. I just know that they are fantasy. Uh, the first one is Kingdom of Ash and Briars. I have not heard anybody talk about this. Oh this is an arc. I just noticed that. It says advanced readers copy not for sale on the top. Where did I buy this? I'm not sure where I bought this, but I think I might have actually got it on thrift books, but apparently this is an arc. Interesting. I did not know that. Oh, there's like pictures in here. Look at that. I'm flipping through it. Um, anyways, it's kind of weird that I found an arc and I didn't realize it. Um, yeah, I don't really know what this is about. I really like the cover. That's about all I can tell you. 
So let me read the back real fast. Okay, we have an orphaned kitchen maid. She lands in a fairy tale gone wrong when she discovers she is an elecromancer with a knack for shape shifting. This kind of reminds me of um, Sabriel, just with the plot line and everything, but um, I like these kinds of things. I mean, there's like magic and whatnot, kingdoms, and it's definitely up my alley, so hoping to read this one and it's also not a very long book it's like 350 pages the next one is the shadow queen and i believe this is a retelling of snow white also look at the inside like it's really pretty but um yeah i love when uh books do that when they have a map in the cover my cat has decided to eat now that i'm filming so if you hear little nummy nummies going on over there that's what that is. Yeah, this also is kingdoms and magic and all sorts of things that I like. Also, the book itself is really pretty. Like, yeah, I definitely bought this one as a um, cover purchase kind of a thing where I was just like, that looks really good. Um, so, yeah, I really want to read this one as well. And then this one is the Glass Spare. And I think this was in an Owl Crate one month before I had Owl Crate. But I haven't heard too many people talk about it, but the second book is going to be coming out. And again, I don't know what this is about. Um, I see more stuff about kingdoms. She is kept hidden from the world in order to serve as a spy for her father, whose obsession with building his empire is causing a war. It definitely looks like something I'm going to like, considering I like kingdoms and whatnot. So, that's kind of a theme for this month, I guess. I got a lot of kingdoms and things going on, so... Yeah, hoping to get to this one as well. And then I have some books where if I manage to get through all those, I highly doubt it. I will. Um, I have Grace and Fury, which I got in an owl crate. It's not a very big book, so I honestly might just like read this at the same time that I'm reading one of the larger books. Sometimes when I'm reading a larger book, what I do is I'm like, I have to read, you know, 100 pages of this before I can read another book. Um, so like I'll read a hundred pages and then I'll go to this one and that like motivates me to get through a bigger book. Um, so I might be doing that with this. I don't know. We will see. Um, the next one was on my TBR for last month as well. And it's a fierce, like a firestorm. And I feel like this is going to get pushed every single month because it is the second one in the Wicked Like Wildfire series. And I didn't really care for Wicked Like Wildfire. I pre-ordered this before I read the first one, which was a mistake, but I'm like, I own it and it's not very large. So... I might as well read it um, and then if I really really have time I have the ladies of the rivers and um, I watched the series that had that kind of um, was based off of this and um, really liked it I really like history so I've been meaning to get to this for a very long long time it has to do with the war of roses and um, I didn't know anything about any of that really beforehand so I really thought it was interesting. It's just not a time period that I knew a lot about. Um, so yeah, if I can, I'd like to get to it. I'd like to start reading more historical fiction anyways, because I've kind of been on a fantasy kick, and now I feel like I'm about to go into my historical fiction kick, so... I'd read that. Um, I'm also planning on finishing an audiobook, um, The Lady Gu Lady's Guide to Petticoats and Piracy. It's the second one to The Gentleman's Guide to Vice of Virtue. Um, I'm almost done with it now, so I'm sure I'm going to finish it this month. After that, I think I'm going to listen to The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein because it's a book that I really want to read. Um, I don't know if I have any others that I plan after that. I have a few saved, but I don't know. It takes me forever to get through audiobooks for some reason. I don't, I don't know. Like, I forget to listen to them because I'm new to audiobooks. So, um, instead of listening to them, I'm, like, listening to music or something while I'm doing whatever I'm doing. And I'm, like, I should really be listening to that book. That was a really good book. <laughs> and I just, like, forget about it because I'm new to it. So that is now it for my TBR. I hope you did like this video. If you did, please be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell and all of that jazz. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. My link's in the thing of a jigger. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!